What's up? What's up? This is the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show Speaker Studio, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. <laughs> Let's get this thing started. It's Thirsty Thursday. I'm going to get some people on the line. When I come back, we'll be talking about the secret. So, check this out from the Magic's app. Thirsty Thursday. Don't go nowhere. One.
Rocky, welcome to the show. You know you in season two on the Boss Ladies Live radio show. Are you ready to think successful? Are you ready to be a positive thinker? Let's get ready. What's up, y'all? This is the Boss Ladies Live Radio Show, Speaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another season and another show. (laughs) It's definitely Thursday, uh, Thirsty Thursday. I was going to say Thursday, Thursday. I am so excited. I just came back from a cool webinar. Uh, Dan Hawkins talking about that green box revolution. So let me know if you want to send in a webinar. If you can't get to uh, a physical meeting um, and you just want to hear the information right now. It's going down online and in person. But some of us, uh, you know, having a little, you know, and me too. I can't go like I want to. So... I feel you with the transportation, but if you can't make it as far as in person, you can definitely set up something. I talked to some of my coaches, see if we can get together these Zoom calls um, to show you the trailer for the Green Box Revolution. So it was awesome tonight. Um, If I would have known before today that it was tonight and I could have prepared and called everybody down, I probably would have done that. But uh, so far, so good. What we got live in the chat room right now? What's the secret? Good question, Jackie. Good question there. Let's welcome Jackie to the show. (laughs) The secret to success is the secret, Miss Jackie. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. First thing I want to mention is that you should never be the smartest person in the room. <laughs> and if you are, don't make it obvious. Um, I a quick story. When I took my mom to the open meeting, <laughs> she was the smartest one in the room. And it's just like anybody that you know, you try to start something new and they ain't feeling it. You know what I mean? They go see it and they're like, oh my God, whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, out of all that skepticism, make a long story short, 
she ended up starting her dream. And see, that's what it's all about. You know, a boss ain't saying it's about finding your dream, finding what you really want to do. And, and let's get started because I've been saying this over and over and over in the shows is that, you know, when are you going to get started? When do you want to get started? You know, and, you know, I fall back a little bit and uh, I myself, too, had to really figure out what I really wanted to do and sat and thought about it and let some of it absorb and say, you know what, this is serious business. You know, just like you say, Jackie, um, you know, every platform is um, important. You know, when you're starting something, when you're building something, it's very important. Nothing, you can't take it lightly. So, I do appreciate that. But, you know, everybody's not in that mind frame yet. People are still unsure what they want to do. Okay, you're dragging me out the house at 8 o'clock at night. And, you know, you're excited about this thing. Let me go see what you're so excited about. And oh my goodness, I mean, you come back and next thing I know, you starting to get up some things and start dreaming again and say, hey, I remember when I used to do this when I was younger, I'm going to start back that back up again. You know, you know, I used to make dinners and sell cupcakes. I need to start back doing that. Or I'm decorating, you know, I like arts and crafts and I used to make stuff and sell it. You know, whatever those things is that make you creative and you a better you. Um, but, you know, you just while you're working people will start seeing your smarts and they'll be drawn to you so that's the first one the second one <laughs> and this one is funny money isn't everything but it certainly makes things more interesting man you'd be surprised when you have a little chump change in your pocket what uh happen so uh i want to share some little tips on uh oh i found my list that's awesome I am doing a good job. <laughs> I'm doing a fine job here getting my list out. You know. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I um, ended up getting a box. And I'm, as I'm thumbing through it, I had some notes that I took. And they're not in the box with it. But as I'm looking, when I got started... I wasn't sure either. I'm like, oh, there's some other stuff I got to spend my money on. I'm really not sure um, how to approach this. But when I actually opened it up, I had some surprising things I had found out. Let's see. I think it's this one. Yes. I'm going to give you a little bit, just a little bit of some of the secrets that I learned. Uh, let's see. As far as dealing with people, I learned to not, principle one out of this secret says, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Principle two, give honest and sincere appreciation. Principle three, arouse in the other person an eager want. So because I didn't criticize and I said, oh, well, you know, and got a little attitude. That's why I, so, I, I say so much. Attitude is so important when you're dealing with stuff like this. When you're dealing with anything, your attitude is so important, you know. And condemning and complaining kind of stops the process. But when I put on another thinking cap and I said, you know what, I appreciate you. Because it didn't happen overnight. It was kind of a few weeks of the same old, same old. And then I looked up and... Oh my gosh, you know, the computer and printer set up, you know, talking about making some business cards and things like that. And I'm looking like, oh my God, really? So I'm glad it rubbed off because I didn't criticize, I didn't condemn, and I didn't complain. And I gave honest and sincere appreciation saying thank you and you're welcome and nice to meet you goes a long way. And giving honest and sincere appreciation at that. Arousing the other person an eager want. When you get enthusiastic about your dream, so will everybody else. You know? So that's for, you know, that personal development. Then I took a personality plus assessment. 